I started playing soccer when I was about three or four. When we played indoor soccer, I, I really fell in love with it because I, I just loved scoring goals and stuff. For a game, I usually just listen to music. I have like a playlist of different kinds of music to like set me set my mind right and like make me feel confident. My main goal is just playing the best that I can and help the team and. Uh, keeping consistent through the whole season. I would describe my playing style as pretty aggressive on both sides, attacking and defending. Um, I like recovering the ball when lost, and I feel like I'm pretty creative when attacking. My experience with the USU 15 team in Portugal was great. We got to play Italy, um, Scotland, and, and Portugal. Um, so it was, a, it was a great experience, a lot of, a lot of tough competition. Um, I got to know new people from, from our, our country um, and create new friendships and, and get better as a, as a soccer player. So it was, it was really, really fun, great experience. Um, I think my season has gone pretty well so far. I think I can improve on keeping the ball tight to my feet at times and not get stuck with it, with my head down dribbling. Um, I think I can look up and find more passing options and create chances better that way. I feel like this is an amazing group of guys, uh, totally different personalities. Um, some are quiet, some are loud, talkative, funny, you know, but everybody, everybody has chemistry and I feel like, I feel like we're, we're one of the best on nine teams and, and we're really strong, we have heart, uh, we don't give up easily, so, so that's all that matters. The U14 to U15 age group jump is really important. The players are on a professional pathway and they're playing MLS teams across the country playing at events like GA Cup and now they're starting to really be in a space where they realize uh, how close they are to potentially being professionals. This year has been really fun and I think that it's been so enjoyable because we have players that are performing at a very high level with a lot of talent but it's a group that's very bought in and very collective in the way that they're trying to express the way we want to play and the way that they are leaning into the relationships they have with each other. And I think that's the most important thing. When you have that environment, you can develop character and have high performance at the same time, and we're well on our way into that journey. The expectations we have for this event is to really showcase our style of play. I think there's an aspect to it that, um, of course, has a results oriented outcome, but we're really focusing on the process. And the most important thing for us is to be true to our game model, to express our style of play, and to individually and collectively show the qualities that these players have been working on all season. Being the first female head coach in any MLS academy is a huge honor. And I think that female coaches should see that they belong in MLS, that, that diversity is, is a huge strength for, for any team. So when we're seeing more women coming into the league, uh, hopefully me being here helps them see that they belong here too. Let's see if we can control and dictate the game today with the right mentality. Urgency, we need to be quick but don't rush, but make sure we know when we're changing the tempo of the clock. Important thing that we keep hammering, and I keep saying, is that no matter what today, no matter what, collectively, it's our style of play. Okay? And what is, what is so enjoyable is that when we play like that, people can't stop watching. People will come to enjoy just to watch you guys play that. So my hope for you is that when we recognize and we talk about our style of play, is that you guys are enjoying it. When you enjoy, we're playing well. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Come on.
just feel energy in the circle. Yeah. Yes? You feel connected. Yeah. Okay? This is about us today. It always is. It's never about anything else. Okay? From the beginning, full throttle. All you need to know is that everyone is here for a reason. We need everyone today, and it's full throttle and six of us. Tired is harder to dictate. You guys feel that? It's harder to find players in between the lines. You don't always get it. Nunez was in great spots in the first half. You didn't quite find him. Okay, that's the lesson for today. Tomorrow it's going to be a battle. Okay, Charlotte tied this team and they wouldn't beat them in pens, right? So tomorrow we have a game against an MLS opponent that I think that we'll be very, very prepared for based on the last two games. Okay, you guys with me on that? Yeah. Congratulations on the result. Let's get wasted. Let's get recovered. Let's get wasted. Let's go. 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 Let